Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My cat is here with us in case you hear meowing. He's fine. He just, he likes to be a part of the conversation. Today, you can tell by the title of this video that we are going to be going through my yoga bags. The reason that I wanted to do this now is because uh, I've been getting back into the gym. <laughs> you can't tell by this baggy sweater of mine, but it's happening. My eyes are watering. Why do my eyes always do this? Okay, it's fine. So I've been getting back into the gym. I've been doing Orange Theory. I've been doing cardio. I've been doing a little bit of yoga, you know? I've been working on myself, just up in the gym, working on my fitness. And uh, I wanted to share with you guys kind of what I do to um, make that more fun. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, kind of tell you a little bit about why I like yoga. I started doing yoga about oh gosh, like eight years ago maybe. I first did a class, it was called a 50-50 class at this yoga studio in the town that I'm from called Kelowna. And the yoga was very, I don't know, in my opinion, like modern sort of like, it was just, it wasn't like spiritual is what I'm trying to get at. It felt very much for uh, fitness and for looking a certain way and making the shapes of yoga look a certain way and it kind of just didn't like jive with me so I did yoga there for a little bit just like on and off like once a week maybe for like six months and then it wasn't until I moved to Vancouver that I really really got into yoga the first time so I started going to this place called moksha yoga which is now called moto yoga and I actually don't know why it's called that so if anybody knows let me know because I still call it moksha and everywhere it's moto I'm assuming it's something to do with like copyright or trademark but anyway it's called moto now and I just fell in love with their practice I feel like they mix uh, fitness in with mindfulness in with self-love and stretch like it's just ugh. it's like the perfect combination of everything that I want in my life I've never had anything make me feel more confident in my body in my entire life and not in like the way my body actually looks which when I was going every day it did look fantastic if I do say so myself but in like spiritually, if that makes sense. And I'm not really like a super spiritual person. I don't believe in crystals and rocks and stuff like that. I mean, I could probably be persuaded, but currently at this time, <laughs> I don't. And so it wasn't like I was going in with that kind of mindset, but the way that they talk. One time my instructor actually asked me what color we were today. I've never been asked that question before. I loved it. I was like, oh, you know, I'm feeling a little like tangerine. I don't know, maybe a little teal, magenta perhaps. It was just so amazing. He was like, what? <laughs> this is like, sounds so great. It sounds like an ad for Moto. But he was just like, what, like, what color are you today? And come in as that color. And you don't have to be yellow or pink or orange. You can be red or blue or whatever and, and just come in as that color. And I was like, Thank you, I will. I really like moto yoga. That's my favorite yoga. I did Bikram one time with my best friend, Sam. I do not recommend Bikram. I, I, can, I will gladly say that on the internet. <laughs> I don't care who you are. That is a nightmare. <laughs> I'm sure it's like a, no, I don't even believe that it's a good workout. I'm sure that some people feel health. Yeah, I know. That's how I feel about Bikram too. I'm sure that some people feel health benefits from Bikram yoga. I personally don't like it. I don't think it's healthy. I, I don't like it at all. Moto yoga is my favorite. That's where I go. Uh, maybe let's start with the clothes that I wear to yoga. These shorts, all pretty much all of this stuff is from Lululemon. And I don't know why. <laughs> because I've gathered this like throughout the years. Like I must have spent like my last like two pennies on, on Lululemon. These shorts are from Lululemon. They're the Align short, I believe, the women's Align short. I don't actually wear these to yoga. I did one time. Um, I don't, number one, I don't feel super confident in them because my um, bottom half of my body is quite, <laughs> how do I say this? It's just, is a different shape than the top half of my body. So I don't, anyway, I don't really like wearing these at yoga. They don't make me feel confident. And also I find that when I'm in tree pose, is that tree pose? When you have your 
foot on calf slash thigh, not your knee though. My foot slips. <laughs> I know a lot of people who wear this kind of thing to yoga, hot yoga and love it, but my feet slip all over the place. I don't feel confident in them, but they're super, super comfy. And I actually love wearing them like around the house and stuff like that. So um, I really would recommend these if you feel confident and comfortable in shorts, especially for hot yoga. I know that it gets really fucking hot in there. And so it's nice to kind of have a little bit more breathing room and, and for your sweat glands to actually meet oxygen in the air and stuff like that so that you can cool yourself down. So anyway, uh, these are my favorite shorts from Lululemon. They're the only ones that fit me properly, <laughs> I would say, because otherwise if I wear those like flowy ones, my ass hangs out because it's large. So I like these. What I actually wear to yoga are the Align Pant. So these are the 7 8 I think, Align Pant. Uh, so they're basically like a second skin, it feels like to me. Like I feel like I'm literally naked when I wear these. I wear these pants, if you know me in real life, I wear these pants basically every single day. I've recently found jeans that actually fit me, <laughs> fit my body type. So I've been wearing those a little bit more, but these are my favorite pants in the whole world. I have them, I think I have like six pairs in black and then this pair in like the green camo. And then I also have them in like the black and gray camo. And then I also have them in hunter green. I really like them. I feel like they, they don't wick away the sweat. I will say that the sweat really stays in there and just kind of like breeds, but I still love them. I feel like they're super easy to move around and they don't feel constricting. I find some yoga pants are a little bit too structured for my liking. And I know that that's probably for a reason, but this is what makes me feel comfortable. So I wear these pants, whichever color I feel like that day or whichever, <laughs> or whichever matches my sports bra. <laughs> So for my sports bras, I kind of just pick whichever one's clean, number one, and then go with that. I don't wear a shirt, just wear the sports bra with my leggings. Uh, but if you want to wear a shirt, obviously you can wear a shirt. I don't like to because number one, I like to check myself out in the mirror. Number I'm shameless. <laughs> and number two, I just like the freedom of not having like anything like, cause you're going like downward dog and then back into upward. And when you go through some like flows and stuff like that, it's just kind of annoying having like a shirt like all up in your face and stuff like that. So I just wear a sports bra. This is one of the ones that I used to wear. It is too small for me right now, <laughs> but all of my sports bras that I actually wear are in the wash because I've been working out so much. This is one of the ones I used to wear. I really liked the crisscross back. I thought that it was really cute. I know that being cute when you're working out isn't like necessarily important for me. If I feel, this is embarrassing, if I feel cuter, I'm more likely to work out and I'm more likely to stay there longer. So for me, it is necessary. So I really like this one. Again, it's from Lululemon. I don't know why I like it above anything else. I bet you that it's exactly the same as like many more cheaper options, but alas, here we are. I am a consumer. This is another one of the sports bras that I used to wear. Again, it is too small for me now, unfortunately, but I'm opening it back there. It just has the crisscross back. I really liked this one. I thought it was pretty cute. It's kind of hard to see, but it's kind of like, almost reminds me of like Cat's Cradle, if that makes sense. And then this one I bought last year, I really like it. It's just a Nike sports bra. I like this one because it's a little bit longer in the bodice, I guess. So it doesn't feel as revealing. Sometimes if I'm going to a class like say I'm actually not going to yoga and I'm going to bar or something like that. I kind of just like to be a little bit more covered up. Uh, and this one feels a little bit more like a shirt rather than, I don't know, a sports bra. I actually wore this as a shirt last year a couple of times and you know, I'm not gonna apologize for it. These are my yoga mats. <laughs> so these are my two yoga bags. Uh, I have two because when I moved from Vancouver to Toronto the first time, I didn't realize I was going to be in Toronto so long. So I left this one in my storage locker unit in Vancouver. And then I ended up purchasing this one in Vancouver or sorry, in Toronto when I went, when I started going back to yoga. So I have two different ones. They are a little bit different. So I'm going to show you both of them, but I'm really only going to go like fully through one of them. So this is my first <laughs> ever full yoga setup. When I first started doing yoga in Vancouver, I got really, really obsessed with it like really quickly, much like I do everything else. I kind of just dive in head first. So I went out and bought like literally everything in one day. So what I like about this is it has all of the different compartments. My girlfriend, Sam, that I go with, she prefers the strap, which I do have a strap as well, uh, which we can learn how to use together because I've never used it. But I like that this has kind of like this meshy 
thing. That's not the right zipper. Hold on. Okay, found it. So I do like that it has this kind of meshy thing in the front so that you can see your stuff. Like usually I'll put my water bottle in here so that I can find it nice and easy. Uh, right now it's kind of storage for my exercise bands. I got these for Christmas from a girl at my old job. Uh, we did a secret Santa and she got what I wanted. So thank you, Brooke, if you're watching this. <laughs> and then I just have a little face towel. This is actually from my apartment at that time. And I literally found it in here when I reopened it. So I don't even know if I've washed it. it smells fine. So <laughs> I like to keep a cloth in there. Uh, I don't actually use this when I'm in yoga. Something that they'll tell you not to do is wipe away your sweat. And the reason for that is because sweat is produced to cool us off. And so if you're constantly wiping and dabbing away your sweat, you're not going to cool off because you're you're wiping away your body's defenses. <laughs> so I usually just use this to wipe down my yoga mat or literally it just sits here and does nothing. Uh, I know that some people like to use these just to like dab away their like forehead sweat because then it runs into their eyes and stings, which does happen to me. And that's a totally valid thing. Um, but I don't like getting in trouble. So I do, I do exactly what they tell me. In here is also my strap. So I originally got this for my grandma for Christmas because she really likes yoga as well. Like my whole family is actually into yoga. My brother does yoga as well. Um, I wonder who got who into what, you know what? I think that my grandma probably got my brother into it. I'd like to take credit for that, but I don't think that it was me. So what's nice about the strap is that you don't have to lug around this bag. I like lugging around the bag cause I like to have a ton of shit with me at all times, but some people prefer just to have their yoga mat. So this is the strap. You know what? I don't know if I can actually figure out how to do this on camera. Yeah. I don't know, that's a strap. Well, maybe we'll try that at the end. So that's what I have in my mesh pocket. Over here, we have this tiny little zipper. So in here, I usually just keep a little bit of money. Uh, I never know if like who I'm going with needs, is there nobody in here? I know there is. I never know if who I'm going with needs to like rent a mat or a towel or I don't know, socks or something like that. You don't wear socks in there, but you know when like, places have like a $2 charge for something. So I always keep like a very small amount of money in here because this bag actually stays in the change rooms. If I'm going to sign up for a membership, I will put like my ID and my visa card in there and then just hope that nobody steals it. And then we get into the good stuff. So we'll get into the big pocket here. So it kind of just opens up like a, almost like a Subway sandwich, if that makes sense. You know, how they like stuff everything in there. That's what that reminds me of. So in there we have the actual yoga mat. So mine is hot pink. <laughs> this is the thicker of the mats from Lululemon. So I don't know if you guys can see how thick that is, but it's actually pretty thick for a yoga mat. Uh, and then you just unroll it and then you practice on there basically. Uh, I like the thicker one for if your knees are sore. I have been doing a little bit of treadmill work and some squats and stuff like that. So my knees actually have been getting sore. I'm 25, don't wanna talk about it. So I've been using this one when I do practice. I do like my other one's color better now. This one is like the old Alyssa. Like <laughs> this whole situation in here is like Alyssa circa 2015. And the one over here is a little bit more modern day Alyssa. So it is a little funny. When I started going to yoga, actually, I got some pretty crazy looks because I would wear like an all pink outfit and then have this. And then you'll see my yoga towel and people were like all over there with their earth tones, like hunter green and like <laughs> moss, and like all of these colors with their like actual like mason jars of water. And I'm just over here with like, I'll even show you my water bottle, hold on. I was drinking out of this, so you can't see the top, but the top is this color as well. So I had like this, this, and like my whole outfit was pink and everybody was like, uh, who let this chick in? <laughs> Anyway, so that's my yoga mat. And then on top of my yoga mat goes my yoga towel. The reason that we use yoga towels is to prevent slippage. This is a, like, this is crazy that Lululemon even sold this. It's like a water, like, situation. So I put this on top of this. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman, the, like, dress that she was wearing in the opening scene of Pretty Woman. Anyway, so you put this on top of your yoga mat so to prevent slippage because you do sweat quite a bit when you do hot yoga. For me, unfortunately, I think because my feet are so dry from like being in heels and stuff like that all the time, uh, not as much anymore, but I think that they're just never gonna come back. They will never be the same. My feet slip on this, like they don't slip on the actual yoga mat, but they do slip on this towel, but I still use it because like I said, I don't like getting in trouble and they do give me shit. <laughs> 
don't use it. They're like, where's your yoga towel? Do you want to borrow one? And I'm like, ugh. Anyway, this again was from uh, Lululemon. It's called the big towel. And then they have little towels to like dab your face, but that's a fucking waste of money. Even I don't waste my money on that shit. So um, just use a face cloth, fuck's sake. So that's everything that's in this yoga bag. I am going to zip this bad boy up and then I'll quickly show you what's in my other yoga bag. Yoga bag number two. So this one is basically the same. It's just like a newer model. I wonder if there's change in here. I don't know. This bad boy doesn't have any money. So this one doesn't actually have the front mesh part. It just has this like sliding zipper. I think that this one's really cute. Kind of reminds me of my mom. I, don't, I think it's because I bought it with her when I was in Toronto. So in here is my second yoga mat. So it all <laughs> matches. It was like a matching set, I think. I just have my yoga mat. And you can see this one is quite a bit thinner. It's mostly just like I don't even know. I think it's like a half inch thinner or something like that. But uh, you really do notice the difference, like even just from feeling it. This one's like a flat runner and the other one is like one of those like absorbency runners, if you know what I mean. So this one's fine if you're doing a lot of like seated poses or if you're doing like yin yoga, which is like you hold the stretches or the, sorry, you hold the poses for a lot longer. This one's good for that, I feel. The other one I find when I'm doing, I think it's called asana, like, when you do the whole situation, <laughs> the other one is better for, uh, I don't know, more like flow, I feel. So anyway, that's my second yoga mat. My cat scratched the shit out of it, which is fine because I put my yoga towel over it. That was less, that was anticlimactic. There we go. This is my second yoga towel. It's identical to the, the first one, except for the pattern. There's nothing different about it. Again, same thing. My feet slip all over the fucking place with this guy. So still annoying, but it absorbs sweat and that's nice. You can also put this in the washing machine, which is important. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, that is it for me. That's all I know about yoga, really. I just really like practicing yoga and I like looking cute. I'm not an expert, but I'm trying to be, man. I wish that you could see my abs, Ugh. but you can't because I just ate a bunch of cookies. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will chat with you guys next time. Bye. What the fuck does this thing work? Oh, let me see. Oh, okay, very fancy. This does not seem easier. Well then, what, how do you carry it? Just, I feel like this is exactly the fucking same as like carrying your yoga mat by itself. This is useless. <laughs>